Hello, here we are, back part two. <laughs> there was a little bit of an internet... Internet con glitch. Connection glitch, because yeah. we're here at Juhu Beach, Mumbai. The sun is setting. You can see the, just the little line of pink on the horizon. It's pretty stunning. And we are post-retreat, so we've run our Divine Immersion Retreat, 10 days. We got there 12, two days earlier, so we've been here 12 days. And here we are at the sun and sand with a beautiful Indian wedding. Hi, Anne. How are you? Beautiful Indian wedding behind us. We're just watching all the ladies come and get dressed in their finery for it and get henna on their hands. Hey, Adelina. And we were just chatting about what we got from the retreat, what takeaways and what sort of things moving forward, projects in life. And what do you want to say about that? Oh, let me talk about the things moving forward. And I'll let Jules talk about the spiritual stuff. Uh, so we are organising next year almost like a double retreat. We've actually got three, but they can chain into one big one. And that is we are doing a yatra. And a yatra is a pilgrimage. Spiritual pilgrimage. So for those who are hardcore and, and really want to grunt to Yoon and who maybe have been on retreat to India before, I am. we're going to be doing different yatras at different times. This one I'm going to be running down the west coast of India from Mangalore, Udupi, down to Kalangad to the caves that Bhagwan Nichananda are at. So if that sounds like gobbledygook to you, don't worry. People who want to know about it, understand. Mm -hmm. Then <laughs> we land back in Ganeshpuri after about seven or eight days and we do ten uh, nights in Ganeshpuri. Rinse and repeat the retreat because it's brilliant. Same it as works. we did this year because yep. it just, oh gosh, it was such a good feeling. It worked really yeah, well. It works. Everyone got what they came for. Everyone had radiating eyes the shakti was radiating out and their hearts were open they were actually weeping with bliss yeah. uh, even only halfway so that's why 10 days was the right amount it was complete because yeah. last year we ran it for eight days and it wasn't they, they were some were a bit tough yeah. and they weren't softening until they the end and they didn't really get yeah. it yeah so 10 days everyone was really complete everyone they? was complete ready to yeah. go home um, and then we're going to do post that Jules and I always move on and do something so we're inviting them to do that with us, excuse me, and that's four nights in Varanasi, which, you know, we, we've got a lot of um, spiritual practice under our belts and been in the game a long time, and we are really great at detecting hot spots that give you the yeah. divine immersion just by being there. <laughs> we, we just know where they are, and Varanasi is the other one. Yeah, we had a great experience there, and other than Ganesh Puri, I think that's my second. Place yeah, in India. absolutely. Yeah, it's so crazy. Like different energy, but really powerful. Yeah, it's the energy of the mother that's what's so different yes. about Varanasi. So people can come to all of that itinerary or pick and choose yep. the parts of it. Yep. Super, so Varanasi is only four days, Ganesh Puri 10 days, and obviously the Yatra is about seven or eight. The Yatra is about seven or eight, and it's more, it's a pilgrim. It's for yeah, pilgrims. Pilgrimage. So simple, simple. Simple, quiet, shanti, shanti. You know, peace, peace. Yep. Um, and then, of course, there's all the great stuff we got out of the retreat. Jules, what was yeah, that? Yeah, so, you know, out of the retreat, there was things like, uh, we actually did purpose-built modules in it on money, love, and purpose, as so that while we are doing the deep immersion, we were really talking about how do we integrate and bring it to our lives. And look, here, Sally and I, we're taking time out post-retreat to plan 2020 and to plan how this is really going to merge with our lives. And we said, you know, even for us, stuff comes up of, do we take that risk? You know, we're running a retreat travel company. Do we take that risk? Do we go, hey, Simi, Simi's home. Sim's Sim. home. You should be was, asleep, Simi. Simi was on the retreat. Yeah. Hello. It's Hi, my darling. Wednesday live. He always watches my Wednesday live. Oh. Yeah, it's adorable. Hope you got home safely. So we were saying, you know, the stuff that came up for us during the retreat is, there are times in life where, um, you know, do you take the risk? Do you go forward? You can tell by the feeling. If the feeling is really bad in your heart space, think twice before that your emotional body is telling you whether to move forward or not. Yep. If the feeling is really clear and radiant, um, even if you don't know how it's going to manifest or what, even trust, if you're scared, it, yeah, trust that. Trust yep. that. At least be open. Let your cup yep. be open. You don't have to rush into it, but at least. Let your cup be open. Yeah. You don't have to rush, but I will. Yeah. <laughs> I might think a bit I'll get more, it done. <laughs> I at least be open. Yeah. I think that's a really great thing we got from yeah. it. That's right. And if you are having funky feeling, then at least do some self inquiry to work out is your is a tendency or a, some scar or something up that um, behind it actually is a yes current. Yes. 
Yeah, always double check. Always double check what the actual clear space of good feeling is. So, yeah, we're pretty uh, stoked with all of our ideas and plans for 2020. And, you know... Uh -huh, Sims having a midnight, midnight snack. snack. Uh -huh. We're having an evening G&T. And then look actually, how much I've had compared to that. Yeah, we've actually been really, really healthy. And um, <laughs> this is our first real treat sort of thing. For a while, so there you go, Sim. We're keeping you. We've company. had chocolate cake and we've had chocolate eclairs. cake at a French patisserie. <laughs> Just letting you know, we've eaten um, Indian vegetarian food for yeah. you know 13 days yeah, now. Yeah, so yeah. We've been very we really are. This is our treat. So yeah, yeah. We've been very healthy. <laughs> but yeah, we've had an awesome retreat. We've had awesome downloads. We've had awesome clarity and takeaways. And we are now. This is the post retreat time for Sim and everyone who's been, as we mentioned at our final um, little chai meeting. It's really important how you integrate it into your life now and just ground it down, embed it down. Don't Try not to lose the feeling of the retreat, retreat and try not to have it so separate from your life that it's not merging. It should be one. Spirit yeah. first. World second. And merge your life. Yeah. Merge your life. Just absorb yourself in the self. Yeah. And then uh, we do pull back the front at home. Yeah. yeah. We think world first, spirit second. But yeah. Spirit first, world second, and your life will flow from the most beautiful That's right. space. And Jewel said to me before we got on, she said, oh, what was it? what's a money thing that we got over there? Because <coughs> we watched certain people have big money triggers. And one of them was that once you go there and you have that experience and you, you need to anchor yourself in that faith and just know that you're connected with the divine. That's what we do. We take you for a divine immersion. Seriously, that's what we do. That's what you get. But your job is to hold it. And so when it... Anything that comes up, like if it's money matters, or if it's fear of returning home, or it's uh, I can't pay the bills, and when's my next dollar coming from, you still at the end of the day have to be anchored in that experience. Yes. Don't yes. don't lose. Don't let the world flip you out and your your what you think is a rational mind because it's actually irrational. Yeah. You may have to take care of some practical issues, but don't add emotion to yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Just do what you need to. If you and stay, stay calm and centered, centered, you'll know what the practical things are to do. Yeah. Because we're all meant to take action. Yeah. So I think that's a great <coughs> takeaway, and we're going to sign off now. We're going to go back and enjoy our evening. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye Simi and Adelina. Sim, you should get some rest soon. I'm letting you see the wedding behind us. So it's just starting <laughs> to really um, take shape now. And we're going to enjoy watching. See you later. Bye.